Hey folks, just wanted to give a quick note here real quick and first say, hey, thanks for watching my stuff. I appreciate it. I don't always know what I'm doing, uh, but you know, the, the goal is for us to learn together. Uh, the quick note is on today's video. It's a little bit longer than most of my stuff. I try to keep my videos about a half hour and this one's definitely longer. Uh, the reason is, is I wanted to show three quick projects and try to make it in real time, as close to real time as I could uh, involving a, a, a quick auto repair at the same time. So I apologize for the length. I hope that you make it through to the end and I hope you enjoy it. Um, these are some quick, simple projects that I cranked off in just over an hour. So uh, I did high speed a, a couple of the spots because I, I knew it was too long. So uh, again, thanks for uh, indulging my long video today. I appreciate it. I'll see you on the next one. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. Today's Mother's Day. All you moms out there, thank you. Uh, maybe a little bit different deal today. Uh, we, we, hear, we have here in the lovely state of Pennsylvania a thing called yearly vehicle state inspection where you drive your car into a garage and they deem whether or not it's worthy of being driven on a Pennsylvania road, which most of the roads are not worthy of me driving on. So that's another story for another day. I wasn't sure if I was going to be, have time to put a video out for Tuesday, but I think I came up with a happy medium. I have to put brakes on the car. That's a must. It goes in tomorrow. Um, but I think I found two or three very simple projects that after the brake job is done, we can maybe crank them off in an hour or so. Some of these you can sell. Some of them are, I don't want to say unusual. They're all pretty simple to make. Uh, and, you know, so you might be able to sell some of them. That's not really what I'm about. But if you are, you can take these and run with them. So I'm going to get some tools together and get a jack and some jack stands. And here goes a car. His car passed inspection. Mine didn't. Anyway, so I'm going to get some stuff together and we'll go ahead and get started. If you guys want to see some automotive stuff on the channel, uh, comment down below there and, and let me know. I'm going to film not all of the brake job. I'm going to film some of it and I'll figure out how much goes in there. But if you want to see some of that stuff, let me know, because I got an old truck out there that, oof, it's an epic tale in itself. So let me know. In the meantime, I'll get some stuff together. I'll bring you and show you what we're doing. I don't know, I just started. <sighs> Folks, my number one word, word of advice if you're doing this, get something cushy. Because nothing like little pebbles in the kneecap. Get something cushy. I brought out an array of metric stuff because it's Toyota. No, well, anything now is metric. Um, I usually just bring out a handful of metric sockets, a handful of metric wrenches, uh, and of course a 10 millimeter because everything's 10 millimeter. So um, I'll go ahead and start ripping this apart. Maybe I'll bring you in under there somewhere and you can kind of, you know, see what's happening. Okay, I got you backwards, but that's okay. You're basically under the front fender. This is the front of the car. This is uh, the brakes. That's what we're changing. Not this, but inside of there. You're basically, I already cracked them loose, but you're basically these two bolts. You want to take the caliper off. You don't want to take under here, take the whole bracket off. You're not taking the whole bracket. You're just taking the caliper off. So it's only a three-year-old car, so they're kind of easy to work with. Don't lose the bolts. You're going to need them. Okay. All right. So with those off. Ooh. Yep, we need the brakes. So. 
this is your brake pad. Right there is your brake material. It's your brake pad. Very little to no material. Holy moly, this thing was about to dig into the rotor. And then that's expensive. These just pop out. Ouch, drop it on your finger. Holy moly, that was, we were about to, we were about to have some expensive issues. Okay. This is what your new brakes look like in a fancy box. They come in a package like donuts. Donuts. Mm. These are all the same. Double check though, your car might be different. These are all the same. Let's grab two, put them in the right direction. One there. Ah. I need that to go in there. There we go. Okay, so essentially, changing the brakes is done. Nope. Other stuff we got to do. I could tell you a big long story, but you don't want to hear it. Every time you hit the brakes, there's a little piston in here, okay, right here. Every time you hit the brakes, that piston pushes out. Well, as your brakes wear down, the more that piston comes out. we got to push that back in, okay? So, C-clamp. Back in the 90s, they thought it was a great idea if they would use screw-in pistons, Stupidest idea in the world. What is even happening here? All right, let's crank away. Away we go. That's all you're doing is cranking it in. Today's Mother's Day, like I said, but every time I do. A repair on a car that would cost me hundreds and hundreds of dollars if I took it somewhere to have it done. I thank my dad. He's the one who taught me how to do all this. Mom always paid for the parts. Dad showed me how to do the work. Okay, get you a quick release, man. These things are awesome. That goes back on there. Get your big head in there. These might need pushed in a little bit. Or a lot. I'll just use a caliper. It'll be okay. Okay, that doesn't want to go on. Oh, that one's way out. Okay. I gotta beat that bottom one, maybe, huh? There we go. Caliper. It's not just for stopping. Yeah. Get your bolts. Now, there's like lube and stuff. Yeah. These things slide back and forth. You want to make sure that they're lubed up and slid. But like I said, this is only a three-year-old car, which means I probably got a really heavy brake foot. Maybe that's a reason to be worried. I don't know. Crank her on. Come on now, don't be cruel. <clears throat> Usually it grunts good. One side done. That simple. That was my air compressor. That scared me seriously. All right. I'm going to do the other side. Put the wheels back on. This job done. So, see you on the other side.
Safety first, friends. Safety first. Try it again. Hey, by the way, I'll tell you when I get back. Remember to put your wheel chalk away. Let's make something out of wood. Okay, so the brakes are done. You saw it. I stopped when I pulled in the driveway. Uh, just a, a real quick follow up on a couple of things I thought of that I should have mentioned. One, I, I'm using an air compressor and air tools, but you can do this. It's not that difficult. Brakes are brakes are the easiest thing you can do on your car. 14,005,763 different videos on how to do brakes. Go to YouTube. You're watching me for crying out loud on YouTube. Go to YouTube. Type in your car. 2020 RAV4. You can watch a video on how to change brakes on it. It's really simple. Important, important thing. PSA, public service announcement, or pastor says, I don't know, something starts with me. You saw me squeeze that piston in, okay? This is important, folks. You got to listen to Just stop. Put your chips down for a minute. You got to listen to this. When you push that piston in, it might go further in than what your new brakes are. You're doing this in your garage. If you've got somebody parked behind you, whatever. When you get into the car, hit that brake three or four times. Hit that brake pedal three or four times. It's going to bring that piston out to where it hits the brakes. Okay? Because otherwise, you're going to back into the street to turn around, and you're just going to keep on going into the drainage ditch on the other side. Okay? I um, should have mentioned it when I was doing the job, but it's important because otherwise you got no breaks. Three projects planned, I think. And that's what we're going to get started on now. Let's get to the wood. Um, real quick and simple. And like I said, some of them you can sell. So I'm going to flip flop around here so you can see what it is we're doing. Okay. The first thing I'm going to build real quick is wooden end grain coasters. Not like the singing group, the coasters, but what you put your cup on, okay? Um, I haven't looked up yet. I'm sure there's probably a preferred finish that you should use on this. And really, it, depending on how you want to do it, you don't have to have a finish. Here's, a, here's another wheel chalk. I mean, that's four by four. It's not four by four. It's three and three quarter by whatever. You could just cut little slivers off of this. Boom, you got coasters. Um, I want to make mine a little bit more interesting than that. So I am using some oak that is from my son and daughter-in-law's house. Um, their house is crazy cool. If you're into construction, oof. Um, this is what it started out as, okay? Uh, this bad boy here, this is a monster chunk of oak. Their house is, uh, half of their house is uh, uh, mortise and tenon construction with wooden pegs, okay? cool stuff if you're into the history of construction and stuff like that and it's all oak mercy uh, i originally thought that i wanted to make my coasters four inches by four inches and i decided nah that's too big um i ain't never seen a coffee cup that well if you got a coffee cup that big your mornings are like mine so this is what that planes down to and cleans up to it's gorgeous wood I'm actually going to cut this down to inch and a half by inch and a half. That's going to give me a three inch by three inch. Uh, my concept for this is that this grain, I got pretty straight grain, which is what I wanted. I want each corner to alternate a direction. So my left, your right, depending on how you're watching this, I don't know. You could be upside down for all I know. Um, upper left hand corner, I want going up and down. Lower left hand corner, I want going sideways. Lower right hand corner up and down. You understand what I'm saying. Anyway, I got to cut these down. So that's what I'm going to do. This monster here. This thing was like four and a half feet long. Okay. Oh, yeah. 
full of the cutest little nails you ever did see. I'll show those to you in a minute. <laughs> Can't see nothing. Inch and a half. I'm already set. High enough to cut my fingers off. Great. Dust collection set up. Awesome. Here we go. Nope, missed it. Here we go. Mercy, these are terrible. Try it again. I'd rather really use a big one. Sure, let's do that. Okay, so what what is going on here? There we go, that's better. So what we need is four of these. I got two really long ones, longer than I need. Uh, I'm not making 50 million coasters. I don't even have that many glasses. So I'm basically gonna cut these. I'm, we're doing this project first because I gotta have to glue these back together. So I'm basically just gonna cut these in half, roughly. Sure, looks good there. No dust collection, watch it snow. Yeah, a little bit that way. Okay, good enough. I'm rocking that way. Oh, there's something on it. Okay. But a little bit. Okay, I have them where I think. You know, I think the grain's going the direction I want to. <clears throat> I'm going with Type Bond 3 because it is a waterproof glue. These are going to be subject to, you know, condensation on the side of glasses running, you know, you know how all that works. Anyway, they might get wet. <clears throat> so, I'm not going to try and glue them all up at the same time. Maybe I should. Let's try it. Clamps. Many clamps, though, I can tell you that. All right. I'm going to grab some clamps here, I suppose. Okay. What I want to do is remember the orientation. Ooh, man, I love Type 1 3. It just goes so smooth on. A little bit thinner than the other stuff. It'll go a pretty good way. Doot, doot, doot. It's like icing a cake. That was this way. That. How they line up isn't even overly important because you're going to cut that first piece off. And these two go together. We're going to flip that that way. This has some nail holes and stuff in it because, uh, you know, it was part of a house one time. By the way, I said it was my son and daughter-in-law's house. It's really not. It's Ezra's house. What's up, buddy? Ezra's my grandson. He's the coolest kid in the world. I know. Everyone thinks they got the greatest grandkids. I'm sorry. I hate to break it to you, but you're wrong. Mine are the coolest, and Ezra is the man. So, all right. That's going to go like that. Now, that's going that way. That's going that way. We can glue those two together. Yeah. That's a lot of glue. This is going to go everywhere. That's fine. It's just fine. Don't worry, folks. It'll be fine. Remember, quick, quick, quick projects today. Mother's Day for crying out loud. My wife's in there cooking. <laughs> Trust me, it's it's not fair at all. I, it, I feel like a slug. I should be in there cooking. But she knows how to make macaroni salad, and I don't. Now, folks, that we just can't have. I'll put up with a lot of stuff, but not that. I'm probably going to need two more lamps. Maybe. Definitely. Hard to tell. I didn't really completely think this through, because how am I going to clamp the top side? Flip her over. 
Got it. Thank you. Whoever said that. Bob, I think. Bob might have said it. Didn't really gain anything, Bob. Way to go. Although, Bob, you were right if I'd have done it this way. I heard you. I heard you, Bob. Take it easy. Listen, you're getting rowdy for crying out loud. Okay. Now we still got to go, you know, downward, dog, whatever. Is that a yoga thing? Downward dog. Can't come up with a better name for that. Than that that's just craziness. All right. I'm going to need even more than this. See, folks, when you're in a hurry, you don't plan things out. It just happened it, organically. Organically, it happens. Organically is a term for people who don't make a plan and then they just have to wing it. Get two more on that end. We'll set that aside. Start the next one. These are my Harbor Freight clamps. These are my old Harbor Freight clamps, which I think are better than the new ones because the new ones, you always lose the rubber foot. I don't know why. They just don't stay on. Okay. I left myself zero room to do that. Get up, get up on there. Get, okay, here we go. That's not going to work. I can, well, no, yeah, no, not going to work. Where's Bob at when you need him? Slide that this way. There we go. Hey, oof, dumb man. We're going to let that percolate a little bit. Where am I going to put it? Uh huh. My testament to clamps. Next one. Next one. I'm not. I'm going to be honest with you here, folks. I'm not sure how this is going to pan out. You ever heard of a push pull stick? Not a pull stick, Bill. If you're watching, you better be shoot and pull. Um, Sherry too, for that matter. Uh, this was the the wood that I cut, I was going to make that picture frame out of, and it's too thin, turned into a banana. Um, but we can take the banana right out of it. Watch this. No more banana. A push-pull stick is you use it on your oven, okay, when that rack is hot and you forget to use a hot pad, you go, ah, you know. Basically, it's got a little notch, and it's got a hook. Um, I'm not going to do it right now, but I, I, when I thought about this, having a notch up here or a V and a hook back here kind of made me think of a shark. So you can get creative on these. Um, we're just going to, I'm going to round this a little bit, put a V in here. Maybe this will be my mother's day gift. Put a little bit more work into it that way. Like that. It has to have a hook. Let's bring the hook about, about here. We'll come in a little bit. Folks, if you've got a bandsaw, now's the time. My bandsaw blade broke. I still haven't fixed it yet. Now, if you wanted to make it look like a shark, come back here and just draw a tail. Done. Sharky. All right. We need a hickey thing. Where's my hickey thing? Yow. I don't know. I don't know where it's at. Oh, nope. That's not it either. Oh, yeah, it is. Hang, just hang in there. You ain't got a bandsaw. You can still use a jigsaw. Back in the day, that's, you know, that's what they did. I'm sure of it. And, you know, caveman, stuff like that. Clamps. 
clamp this down so it don't go for a ride. Let's see how this works out for me. It's not, not working out at all. I'm trying to double clamp this. We've got some rotation beyond recommendation going on here is what's happening. Oh boy. It's times like this I wish I had a vice. Oh, that might work. Touche, mes jours pussycat. That'll sand right out. Don't be ignorant. Ah, don't put your fingers on there. Are you crazy? A little bit more for Santa Claus. Okay, there's the mouth. Listen, it's ugly, but it'll sand, okay? Trust me. Just work with me here, folks. Work with me. That's all I'm asking. Oh boy. Oh geez. This is just there we go. Now we need a hook. Backwards fin. Backwards shark fin. Again, if you have a bandsaw, this is so much easier. Oh boy. That's not going to work. I see my failure. I'll show you here in a second. It's a good idea, but how are you going to hook anything with that? It's going to slide right off. Dummy. Oh, that hurt. Okay. We can fix that. We have the technology. We can rebuild them. Golly, get in there. Okay. That's why I said a shark fin. Shark, shark fin never lets you down. Shark bait. Hoo ha ha. I just combined two different Disney movies. Guess what? Oh no, we suck again. Okay. Well, it'll hook now. It's not nearly as graceful, but I can make it graceful. Now, there's nothing graceful about me. We'll try it, though. We'll try it and see. I'm going to flip it over. That will surely help. It will. Quit calling me surely. I'm just going to round that backside off because it's ugly. It'll sand out. So this is my concept. We're gonna go sand it. I'll be right back. Okay, it's all sanded out. Dun 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 da da da. Anyway, let's go see if it works. My wife's cooking chicken. Sure. Come on, I'll bring you along. Okay, here we go. Careful going up the steps. Oh, golly Moses. Okay, here we go. Let's see. 
Honey, you'll have to pause that for a minute. Okay. Copyright and whatnot. So, okay. There's the oven. No, I'm, I'm talking to them, not you. But I can talk to you too. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you. There's nothing in it? No, I turned it's, it on. Set it. I'm doing chicken. Chicken! Set it 350 though. That bad boy's hot. Hook. Oh no, how do I get it back in? Shark mouth. There you go. Thank you, honey. I'm out. When's dinner done? Um, you have at least an hour. Oh, good. I got two more projects to do yet. All right, folks, let's go back out here where we belong. Okay. Oh, oh, I got something in my eyeball. See? It's not just a job, it's an adventure. Okay. Let me kick this up because I think you're cutting my head off. That's the wrong one. Here we go. Like that. Okay. Anyway, so that's project number two. I really rushed this thing. I mean, I crazy rushed it. Um, you could take your time and you can really, you know, I think, I think the shark, you know, I think the little shark fin is cool. A fish, if you know a bass fisherman, a walleye fisherman, a, I don't know, deep sea fisherman, whatever, you can make a, make a fish thing there and just put a tail on it for the handle. And I think, I think that would be cool. And I think, you know, this is out of scrap wood, folks. I was going to burn this in the fireplace, but it's 90 degrees out today. Anyway, quick, easy. If you sell them for three bucks a piece, it's still scrap wood. You're not, you know, great. There you go. All right. Third project. What was the third project? Oh, yeah. Sorry, didn't mean to not sound excited about that. I need to make a key rack. I'm going to come up here. Hang on a second. Okay. Okay. I need to make a key rack. Um, my wife doesn't necessarily know that keys go on a key rack when you come in the door. Maybe that's my fault because I don't have a key rack in there. We're going to fix that today. That's my scrap bin. Um, scrap shelf. Perfect. Just a piece of oak off of that shelving unit that I told you about that I got from the school. Uh, we're going to lower this down. I'm not into cutting my fingers off today. I ain't looking for a big giant key rack. We have three vehicles, a um, couple sets of church keys, stuff like that. But I do want it to have a shelf above it because when I come in, that's the first thing I do. Hang up my keys, throw my wallet up on a shelf. So I'm going to make a strip. A couple inches? Sure. Two inches. Let's call it two inches. You can get as fancy or unfancy as you want. I got a ton of crap in the way. There we go. That'll be fine right there. Sure. Pencil. Yep. Okay. Now, as I was about to say, uh, this is that two different pieces. We're going to flip that over. Hardware store is closed today because it's Sunday. I don't have those fancy little hooks you can screw in. We're going to use dowels. Okay. So I'm thinking two inch that way. And maybe a, maybe I'll do a three by three, a three inch shelf and a three inch drop for the dowels. Which means I'm going to reset this. And like a dummy, I'm going to remember to lock the fence this time. I'm going to find my safety glasses. Oh boy, that's probably brake dust from the car. <laughs> okay. Ooh, yeah. You know what I think it is?
Okay, we have to think about how long we want this. There's a couple things that could go into play there. Uh, I have an idea where I want it. Um, is that necessary? Anyway, I don't know. Factors that are going to come into play. How long is the board I'm using? That's one. Uh, you know what? Don't be dumb like me. I need... Oh, I'm going to cut that rabbit off of there. I need two of these. Anyway... Oh, I was going to make them both out of this. I'm trying to be in a hurry, folks. That's my problem. That's where things start to go awry. Rye bread. I can go for a Reuben right now. I'm going to make mine a foot by foot. No, I'm not going to make it a foot by foot. This is only 23 inches long. Like I said, I'm going to make it 11 by 11. Can't see. Where did I get this janky pencil at? Give me my non-janky pencil. We're going to mark it on this side so I get confused with which mark I'm supposed to cut. Okay, cardinals. Okay. Hang in there. This, I'm going to set on there like a hat or a toque, my friends in Canada. All right. Um, you can attach this a million different ways. This is a, excuse me, a quick and dirty project. I'm probably going to drill it and screw it because um, it's for my house. But we have to put dowels in here. And do I have any dowels left? <sighs> yep. Sure do. I'm back. Haven't found a great way to cut these yet. If you got a bandsaw, again. Um, hi, honey. Hi. You got a bandsaw. That's what you want to use. Dials. How long do you want the dials for your key rack? Inch and a half? Um, I don't know. Sure, two inches. Are you from Missouri? Yes. Is this going to go into the wood? It's going to go into the wood a quarter. It can only go a quarter inch. This is the decision making process, folks. Like that? No, that's too long. Well, there's going to be a shelf on top of it. Oh. So. Yeah, that'll look good. So. Inches? To my middle knuckle. Folks, that ain't the way to do it. Two inches. Do two inches. Uh, it's a board stretcher. Two inches. All right. I'm going to cut these up on the chop saw, which could be incredibly dangerous, and I'm not going to let you watch. Okay. I ended up with five. I don't know if that's the right amount or not. That's going to take in math and spacing and Stuff I don't like to do. They make tools for that, by the way. The reason I said it's dangerous on a chop saw is my chop saw. Because I don't have a zero clearance for it. And it's not capable of taking one. Like, you can't build one like I did for the table saw. <coughs> I've seen people put tape on it. Which, I could see where that would work. Um, but inevitably, one of them kicks the blade and goes sailing and... and you got a bandsaw. Bandsaw blades aren't that expensive. You'd think I would just do it. Now, anyway, to put these in, I don't want them to just be straight. It would work, um, but they would just be straight. I want them at a little bit of an angle. <sighs> Haven't quite figured out how I'm going to do that. Oh, I have a plan. Just hang in there. You hanging in there? Hang in there. Door shims. These are door shims. If you're putting a door in, slide them in there. I think what I'm going to do 
is put door shims under this and that'll give me a little bit of an angle so when i drill in um it'll put my post my pegs my dials whatever these things are it'll put them at the right direction i think yeah yeah looks good on paper we're not using plans i got no paper let me space these out and i'll get them drilled out and we'll i guess glue them in and then it's time to zip 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 and it's done so uh, listen folks here's the thing my projects are not counting the finish okay because that's a day this is just something you crank off in an hour okay let me get this drilled okay see how this works out just put that anywhere that'll be fine sure let's try that so i just put so I know, you know, that what that's going to be. Draw a line and a line. Aim somewhere for the middle. I said, aim somewhere for the middle. That's going to be close. Here's something I learned. Um, I always add about an eighth inch because it's a tapered drill bit. Once, once the end of that taper is done, you're, 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 you're. If you're using flat dials like me, it's not going to go in. So anyway, just something I picked up along the way. Okay, see how it goes. Okay, that's drilled out at an angle-ish. Yeah, a little bit of an angle there. That's good. It'll be all right. Like I said, this is going a mile, so it don't matter. So far, so good. I know one of these is obscenely long. Like I said, oh, it's that one. Holy moly. Like I said, you're this is just a quick project. And I, <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Up, down, up, down. Okay. Anyway, we'll cut them all flush. Trust me. Yeah, we will. Okay. Anyway, this is just quick because the chicken's almost done in this dinner time. Um I would glue these in first and then screw your top on. Like I said, you're gonna take more time on this than I am. I'm just slamming this together, but it's a simple little key rack that you can put together and life is good. So let me get some screws and we'll put this all back together. Okay. Got those glued in, glued, glued in, glued in, and they're all different sizes. My wife came up with a brilliant idea that I could possibly lose an eyeball on. We'll have to see. Um, she said, just put it together and run it along the fence of your saw and just cut them all at the same length. That's a brilliant idea. Safety glasses, no doubt. So I'm just going to drill a couple holes. using the traditional black uh, inch and five-eighths drywall screws because drywall screws are the greatest thing in the world. Okay. Da, da, da. Okay. Those are all on an angle. Yeah. So conceivably, there's what you got. Okay. This is, uh, I can't see. I don't know. Can you see that? Okay. Um, 
keys are gonna hang on there. As you can see, it's all kinds of different. We'll fix that. Um, but you just throw the finisher on it. Now you can get fancy and router it and do all that stuff. This is this is just a slam it together, get it out the door. Um, probably, again, scrap pieces. You put a $5 tag on this, people are probably gonna buy it. Um, give them a way to hang it up because otherwise it's, it's a door stop. We're gonna let that dry. That's two. We're gonna call that finished. I know we didn't put finish on it. That's okay. Let's go back to, um, oh yeah, this menagerie. How long has it been? You guys been counting? I have no idea how long we've been on this. Okay, this is, looks good there. 14 million clamps to come off. One, oh, they're off, oh, anyway. Declamp. That's out of clamps. We're just gonna scrape off the excess glue. That do a better job than I did, because that's not jointed right at all. But it'll be okay. This is mainly for experimental, not experimental, example. That's what, it, this is just for an example. Again, I slam these things together. I think it'll hold. Maybe it might hold, I don't know. All right, we're going to point you over here. Once you got your four put together, I don't know that my saw will cut through this, to be honest with you. Nope. No, maybe. No. I got to about right there. Oh, well, she's gonna be close. We're gonna try it. First cut's gonna be just to straighten it. My saw's not big enough. I don't know if my table saw with the sled will work on this or not. That's, oh boy, I can't even get to my table saw. Okay, let me get you back where you belong here. Okay, anyway, my saw won't cut all the way through it because it's a seven and a quarter contractor saw. It wasn't really made for fine woodworking. But you get the idea. Once, this, once these are glued together, you just cut them, I'm going to say quarter inch. You just make quarter inch slices. Okay, and... You'll probably want to put, I don't know, butcher block oil. You can get it at the, the big home store, red or orange or blue, whichever one you like. Uh, Ace Hardware has it too, as a matter of fact, because there's an Ace Hardware right down the road. Um, just put some of that on there. Just give it a little bit of help with the water resistance. Um, this is the only failed one I have, and it only failed because I don't have a big enough saw. Working on that. Working on the wife. For that to be honest with you uh, but that's it three quick dirty projects where'd my shark go you got the push pull stick which um, you put some time into this and, and if you design a neat little shark uh, make it maybe a little bit wider than an inch and a half I think two inch would give you the room you need to do that you put two dollars on this you sell these all day um, you do a set of five of these five bucks okay Again, this is scrap wood. I've had this wood for, holy moly, probably four years, five years, trying to figure out what to do with it. And this will make a great project. I'm going to finish this out, but I'm going to have to figure out how. And a simple key rack. Yes, I threw it together. It's quick and dirty. Nothing matches, but that's okay. I'll cut these off, and this will be hanging in my entryway uh, in, in about a day or two. Um, but there you go. Um, and you can sell these. You put five bucks on this or, or whatever. Again, friends, the thing about this is, this is scrap wood, okay? It's scrap wood. This was going in my fireplace, okay? Now it's terrorizing people on the beach, okay? So, you know, 
it's not about selling a six thousand dollar table it's about building something small and selling it and uh you know there's money to be made at a dollar a piece really how long did it take to cut that thing out so um i thank you for putting up with my rushed video today um hey maybe you learned something about changing brakes like i said if you want to see some more automotive stuff just put it in the comment below like i said i got an old truck out there that's um, desperately trying to get inspected so i know i got more work to do on it and if you want to see some more of it just put it down there and i'll add some more in there once in a while uh, in the meantime, happy Mother's Day. Ezra, give your mom a kiss and tell her happy birthday, buddy. Uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. God bless. Have a great day.